Hi, I'm Emily, and my hope is rising as I hear and respond to President Vizi's message. I serve as coordinator of the World Service Corps and co-director of World Conference 2019. So naturally, President Vizi's message got me energized thinking about the upcoming World Conference as one of the ways we experience the blessings of worldwide community. I get to reconnect with friends from all over the globe. World Conference is something that I have enjoyed since I was a child. Growing up in Independence, my family didn't have to travel far to participate in worships and fellowship opportunities during conference, and we also had the opportunity to host extended church family in our home who had come from very far distances to participate. I can remember feeling awe-inspired by these experiences because it was one of the few times in my life when I could interact with and hear firsthand the many languages, stories, and songs shared by this multicultural family. On the year of the temple groundbreaking, my family was hosting women from French Polynesia, and I have etched in my memory the image of them and other brothers and sisters from around the world gathered together outside in the cold to witness the symbolic beginning toward the fulfillment of a vision, not just to construct a building, but to embody the purposes of the temple in our daily lives. At the 2019 World Conference, we will celebrate the 25th anniversary of the temple, dedicated to the pursuit of peace, reconciliation, and healing of the spirit. I look forward to reflecting on our journey and recommitting to our future. I feel hope rising when I consider how Community of Christ continues to explore, discover, and respond to the call to become a people of the temple. I feel hope rising when I hear President Vizi say that we are answering the call by shaping a church community that transcends walls of race, class, economics, and gender. And I feel my hope rising into action as I live into this calling.